Well, that's that then. I've spent around 50 hours and scanned quarter of a million frames, just over, of 8mm and Super 8mm, which equates to 16 3 inch reels, 1 5 inch reel, and 8 8 inch reels, which I split in half onto the 5 inch reels. To scan them onto the card, to then edit them into the relevant segments. So, for example, there might be hmm, 60 feet of a holiday, 20 feet of a, a trip somewhere, 300 feet of, a, of another trip, and upload them all to YouTube. So, I've ended up with a total of 51 uploads. I've no idea how long that is all put together, but I will have a check at some point. But I would estimate that I've got three, four hours worth. Anyway, what have I learnt? Well, it takes about half an hour to scan one of these little three inch reels. A five inch reel, which is this size, the size that the projector ships with will take about two to three hours averaging around two and a half hours depending on how much you load it you can get two five inch reels out of one full eight inch reel so you're looking at about five hours to digitize that image quality well you've got to bear in mind that this stuff is all pretty much um, late 60s image quality. Got to bear in mind that this is 1960s and 70s technology and film. Some of it's faded, some of it's really underexposed, some of it's really overexposed. It's um, blown out, bleached. The dyes have changed. It's mostly not too bad because my mostly, fortunately, used Kodachrome, which was very stable. Um, but the, the film has suffered. So, right, I would say that on the whole, I'm really, really happy with the scans on the image quality. It's let down mainly by not being able to adjust the color balance in the settings. I've got a fair few bits that are heavily um, blue in, in terms of a cast and a lot where they're heavily yellow in terms of a cast. So the highlights have gone yellow, shadow areas, blue, so, so on and so forth. This is very, very easy for me to do in post-processing. However, I haven't currently got a decent post-processing bit of software. I'm using Windows Movie Maker, which is very, very simple, very, very basic. Um, I did used to have Coral and so on, which, which would allow me to do it very simply. But, that aside, the images, um, I found that the best bet was just to do them at the standard settings. So standard um, exposure, standard sharpness, etc. Uh, the films have all seemed sharp enough. Do make sure that you put them, you can't see that, under those little grey tags when you put them through. So the films are sharp enough. The exposures are accurate. The colours, apart from when they've gone yellow or blue on certain clips, are, are decent, are good. The image quality, do you know, I'm watching it on a 50-inch on a TV, and they look good. Uploaded to YouTube and lo the loss of quality that comes with that after saving to MP4, notwithstanding. They look good. They look way, 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 way better than they ever looked on a projector screen when you covered everything, every window with blankets and made sure you didn't have any lights on and managed to focus it when it's all propped up on 100 books. So yeah, massive, massive improvement. My parents are over the moon. My aunt is absolutely over the moon. I'm over the moon. I've seen some cracking stuff. There's very little of me. There's loads of um, my parents. And seeing my parents at 20, 25 years old is great. 
Um, there's some of my brother. Um, that's pretty cool to watch too. My grandparents are no longer with us. That was lovely as well. My aunts and uncles have all gone. My cousins who live abroad. So yeah, it's been an absolute joy. So the question. Oh, any improvements? Well, you need to be able to put an eight inch reel on. Really having it as a five inch doesn't cut the mustard because you, you really are stuck then. Anything that's put together as an eight inch reel, you have to have some sort of separate carrier device and cut the film, then try and splice it and rewind it in the right place, which I can never remember where I am. All you need to do is have some substantially um, built arms coming off either side, like we've got on the projector here. This thing flips up. Now that's lasted since the 70s. As it was, as I showed earlier, I had to do it from um, this little machine, this editing suite that my grandfather made. I was able to put them on there, spin it onto a five inch reel, cut it in half, then uh, spin it back onto an eight inch reel, an empty one, to load back onto the five inch reel twice. A pain. Build a case bigger if um, it's a case of strength. That's probably not going to be a massive issue. But that is my only real issue with it. And it's not a massive issue. It wasn't insurmountable. Certainly for me anyway. So overall, am I pleased with the purchase? Absolutely yes. There, there, there's no question. There's no question. We've ummed and ahed for years. My parents spent a hundred odd quid transferring um, one reel 10 years ago. You know, the quality is not massively different to be fair. You know, the quality is not massively different to be fair. I think that what I've managed to achieve with this little bit of kit, which is not a great deal of money, really, especially for what it does, it's been nothing short of marvellous. I've managed to scan this stuff, upload it to YouTube. I can watch it on my TV. My parents over at theirs can watch it. My aunt, where she lives, can. My cousin in South Africa, 4,000 miles away, can watch it. You know, everybody is able to see this stuff. And we're seeing stuff we've never seen or that we haven't seen in living memory. <laughs> we can share it all. So, brilliant. Reflector, film scanner, Super 8, Normal 8. Absolutely thumbs up. I'll do both hands, but I'll drop the camera. I love you. You're brilliant. Get one.